Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome to today's Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we'll be learning how to create a simple but effective day-night cycle. This will act as a good base to further work on to create a accurate to life day-night cycle. Making the, the light source dynamic and getting it to actually move in the sky to go from day to night and then back to day again. The engine version that I'm using for this tutorial is 4.20 and it doesn't matter which, uh, which uh, template that you use when you boot up Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the current one that I'm using right now is the third person template but you can use the first person or any other template that you like or you could even use this code in any current project that you're working on. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. First, you're going to want to find the light source for your level. In this example, it's right here. Or you just search for light source if you're in your template project. Next, we go to here and change it to movable. This will mean that we can actually, within, within blueprint functions, actually change the direction of the light. Next, let's open blueprints and open level blueprint. And here, we want to grab an event tick. Event ticks will update things every single frame. Quickly coming back to the main viewport here, we're going to want to make sure that we have light source selected here. So then when we go back to our blueprint, we can right click here, make sure that context sensitive is turned on. It means that we can directly grab a reference to that light source. Now from here, we are going to want to get add actor local rotation. With our light source connected to the target, it means that we can now change the rotation of the light source. Next, what we're going to want to do is dragging off of delta seconds. We want to get a float times float. Down here in this in this empty node where it just says 0.0, .0 we're going to want to right click and promote this to a variable. Let's call this sun speed. Now the default value here we can't edit yet, so just click on compile, and now we have access to it. Just for testing purposes, let's set this to 25 which should move it in the sky uh, pretty quick so then we can get a good look at the sun actually moving in the sky. Now from here right click in this empty field and click on make rotator. This will be the the translation between this float into a rotator. We're going to want to hook it up into pitch for this case and then connect the return value to delta rotation. Let's compile and save. Now back in your main viewport just click anywhere in the sky so that we have access to our sky sphere blueprint. Now that we have that we want to right click here and create a reference to our sky sphere blueprint. Drag off of that and type in update sun direction. This is a function that exists within the sky sphere blueprint already. So here we have the simple base for our dynamic time of day system. Compile, save. Now if we enter back into the level, you will see that we have a dynamic time of day. Now this isn't perfect, but just as a basis, this is a good starting point. In part two, I'll be showing you some more clever techniques on how to create a more realistic day-night cycle. Thank you for tuning in to, into this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial, and make sure to catch the second part to finish our day-night cycle. I've been Andrew, and if you're looking for more Unreal Engine 4 tutorials, make sure to subscribe to Aurora Gameworks, and also to keep track with us on our own game developments for our own games. Thank you so much for watching, 
I'll see you next time.